Friday. Happy Friday. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's been a it's it's been a week. And what a week. What a week. What a week. Yes, what a week. Um yeah. A lot of changes, a lot of um a lot of moving parts on my end. So a lot of jumping, I guess, you know, face, face first, not feet first, you know, <laughs> face first. <laughs> Diving deep. Um, yeah. You know, on faith. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's been a, been a emotional roller coaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, but it's all good. It's all good. They're not all that bad, you know. At the end, after we go on them, we just feel like we're a bit, we've been through the tumble dryer, but we think, well, I'm still here, right? Right. <laughs> Tell me. The it's tumble only made- dryer. Is that what you call it? No? You didn't call it a dryer. Oh, no. we just call it the dryer. Dryer? Oh, <laughs> the tumble dryer, because it tumbles your clothes around, you see. And- yeah. <laughs> And imagine yourself being in that dryer physically, how tumbled you would yeah. be in that hot air and being, you know. And you're being secluded in it. I mean, mm-hmm. you just, just it seems like there's no way out, huh? Mm-hmm. Huh? So hot and you just want to blow up inside the tumble mm. dryer. Ooh. Ooh. But <laughs> <laughs> mm. you stay stuck on that tumble dryer. Get the vision. I know. I just wanted to get out. Yeah. Take it onto that, you know, that little window that you have on the tumble dryer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While you're going around and around. <laughs> yeah, wow. No, that, that, that's a, that's a, mm, that's a vision. That is that's definitely a vision. Yeah. A vision. Feeling that, just get, just have that vision of that tumble dryer, right? Yes. So it's oh, like break that state. It, it does. It helps you break that state and you laugh about it and think, well, that could be worse. I could be in that dryer. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, well, welcome to Fun Fresh Friday. Yes. <laughs> Everybody out there, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. So before we start, I just wanted to say, um, you know, we have this um, – book writing intensive on Monday. It's on Monday. So for those of you that want to sign up, please do so. Let me know because there's only one way that you can come to that book writing intensive and is to give me proof that you did something. (laughs) That's simple. That's simple. Yes. Yes. And it's a, it's a, it's a different type of, uh, book writing intensive. It's not um, your typical, you know, uh, it's very interactive. Um, And our very own Stefania will be there. And she will be rendering her services as well. So you will get a a great bonus, you know, through Stefania. So yes, so we start on Monday, 7pm Eastern Standard Time, up until Thursday at 7pm. Um, that that's three days, four days. Yeah. Four days book writing intensive. And by Thursday, you are able and ready to publish your book. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a sh- short read, short read. Okay. Not, not the novel. So it's a short read. Um, you'll be able to get you to do that. Okay. Leave a, You'll leave a um, um, a tag or a, a link down below, won't you, after the show, so people know yes. how to register for it. And please yes. register. Get all that out of, you know, all that stuff inside you. Get it out on paper. Get it out of a book. It could be a bestseller. Yes, 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 know. yes. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And we all have a message to say and, you know, somebody needs to hear our message and, you know, we can reach a whole bunch, you know, millions. Oh, yeah. Especially now yeah. with technology, there is just no excuse. No. 
Right, right. That's out. so true. No excuse. No excuse. <laughs> yes. But only yes. opportunities. Only opportunities. Don't know where it's yes. going. Right. Okay. So shall we start or shall we plunge in? Or do you have a shout out or do you have something? I know you have a retreat. You have yes. a summit. Or I, do. I do have a summit coming up if anyone is interested. Mm -hmm. It's called Conscious uh, Relationships and it's on um, the 22nd it starts. It's a um, an all day summit, the 22 2nd of 2023. And the, the lady that's put it together, there is um, significance with those numbers. Apparently, if you are into numerology, which there will be a numerologist um, uh, consultant or coach in the in the um, retreat who will be um, sharing a lot of nuggets. But of course, I'll be talking about relationships. Um, yes, and there'll be some fun giveaways. And also, there is a workshop. So part of the, um, I guess, the, the retreat, you get to, it's very interactive. So we invite people to really come and join and be interactive and learn something, take away some tools. There's apparently, mm -hmm. apparently about seven or nine speakers, not quite sure. But yes, I'll be there and I'll leave a link down below. How about that? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. For those interested. Thank you for reminding yeah, yeah. me. Yes. See, I know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I hang out with you because you kind of like, you know, know where I kind of forgot. <laughs> Or forget things, but that's what I said. That's why friends, we have friends, right? That's why we yes. are. True friendship mm -hmm. is a rare, but that's for another topic. Today we are talking about. Yes. So never what do you do? Things. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> okay. To that. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, um, take away one answer that I hear all the time and, um, you know, well, I'll pray, <laughs> yeah. well, I'll pray. Um, so we'll take that away because, you know, sometimes we, we, um, have this, um, ability mm -hmm. to take off the responsibility and put it somewhere else. And so that's where, you know, we say, well, I'll just pray. No. What mm -hmm. do you do when you don't know what to do? Um, yes, you do pray. Yes. You, but you've been praying and praying and you've been jogging your head and you've been talking to people and people talking to you and reading books and, looking up stuff, taking courses, all of this other stuff, and you still don't know what to do. What then do you do? Go ahead, Stefania. <laughs> You're asking me? Oh, my God. Yeah. I have many answers, but, yeah, um, I guess, you know, what is praying, first of all, like for those that want to pray? And, you know, I think there's nothing wrong with that. That's also no, not, not at all. harming, you know, that, that, that busy mind. Because really what's going on is your conscious mind is just boggling. There's like a, I call it a ping pong um, machine going off uh, in mm -hmm. your head. Because you have all these thoughts, you have everything that's bouncing around. You're listening to people, you're reading books, you're listening to... Um, you know, maybe content on internet, YouTube, Instagram, with all the social media going on. You then have close members that are talking to you and sharing, you know, what they think you should do. They think you should do. Mm -hmm. um, but I truly think, I truly think it's, it's, everything's within us. All the answers are within us. And the, the secret is, and it's just really crazy that you you know you really brought, we're talking about this because prior to coming onto the show, um, you know I wasn't 
not really prepared as such. You know, it's impromptu, impromptu, isn't it, that we talk when we talk? Mm -hmm. But my meditation today was on silencing the mind. Oh. Yes. And when we can actually silence the mind, which is not that easy, okay? It's, it's, it sounds easy, but it's not easy. But easy is not impossible either, okay? Right. Let's keep that in mind. Because we're so used to doing everything, you know, the long way, the hard way, the challenging way that we think easy is like it's too easy. But yet the easy, easy is the most challenging. So going back to silencing the mind, silencing mm -hmm. those thoughts, how, how do we do that, right? That's probably the next question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Funny, how do yeah. you do that? Right. Yeah. Well, like anything, it is a muscle. It is something that we need to practice. We need to you know, consistent, remain consistent, um, diligent, focused on mm -hmm. repeating the same exercise. And whether this exercise is meditating in silence, you know, mm -hmm. being, being quietening down and just um, coming back to breath maybe for some people because, you know, we have thoughts going on so we need to focus on something that's going to silence so breath is a great way and there's a lot of um, people that are really awakening now to our breath and doing a lot of breath work and um, going within healing also with breath work there's a lot of mm -hmm. know, going on that way but just really working with the breath that can silence the mind and when we silence the mind and we get to that point that there is silence there will be clarity. There will be release. You'll be releasing a whole lot of stuff. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what happened. just 20 minutes <laughs> yeah. ago. And Zanetta said to me, she said, Stefania, just before we came on the show, she said, are you okay? <laughs> and I thought, she just knows what's going on. Like she's in my mind. She's <laughs> Vanetta, are you being intuitive or you've just been spying and gone into my brain or something and checking out what's going on? But that's exactly what happened. There was a, a big release. There was a lot going on and I felt like crying. I felt like screaming. I felt like, you know, possibly I wouldn't, but, you know, really just there was a lot of anger and anyone that was going to come close to me was probably going to get, you know, the sparks. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew what was going on. I knew because I know my body. I know my sensations mm -hmm. that I feel. So I took myself to a quiet spot and I did that meditation. And then, of course, I did my journaling straight after because this method is an amazing method that yes. a wonderful, amazing friend of mine, soulmate, precious gem, shared with me. And I've been doing that. And it's amazing what comes out in the journaling after the meditation. It's like a double whammy. Yes. A yes. double whammy. So, yes, going back to what to do when you don't know what to do, you, it's, it's this choice you have to make, actions you have to take to take yourself to a place of silence to a place of um, uh, somewhere like a, a, a safe space, a sacred space that only you can find, only you can create within yourself. Mm -hmm. and when you go there, you can imagine it. You can even imagine it being this beautiful, like forest-like um, little cave, you know, where only you know it's your secret place and you take yourself there. And you can smell the dampness of the soil and the leaves and you can actually hear the, the ruffle of the, the branches mm -hmm. and maybe some birds in the background. You know, that's meditation. That's taking yourself to a place where only you can go and you can mm -hmm. find the answers. And the answers, we don't need to physically take ourselves there. And that's why they say, don't look externally. 
look internally. That's why. Mm -hmm. Because mm. that... Now, this may sound a lot of, like real woo-woo to some people that uh, have never experienced uh -huh. it. And it's only normal because you're not used to doing that. But the brain, let's go back to, you know, the function of the conscious and the subconscious mind, to change your programming, your normal programming, you need to make some changes. And repetition is how the conscious mind remembers, learns, and everything like that. And, you know, we are reprogramming because then mm -hmm. it becomes part of our subconscious mind, our habitual, automatic behavioral patterns. Yes. Now, can I just add one more thing? I know I'm talking. Go ahead. Like yes. Go. Just yeah. let it all out. <laughs> let it all out. Now, the, don't forget, this is something I've, I've heard and it's like, I'm going to repeat it by an author, I can't remember his name. I'll get back to you with the author's name. He, he wrote a book called Untethered Soul. You have to get this book, it's amazing. And he says the problem, the cause of all problems is the mind. I'm going to repeat it again. The cause of all problems is the mind. Mm. They, need, they need to really digest that. And then get the book and you'll understand <laughs> what what, what mm -hmm. is all yes. what that's about. But the mind, happy, happy fun, fresh Friday. Sanaya. Yay. Sanaya. Sanaya. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, why is it the mind? Because we are putting that information in the mind. <laughs> and the mind mm -hmm. is doing exactly mm -hmm. what. So if we actually can control what goes in the mind, we have full control. We are the captain of our own ship. We have full access. Mm -hmm. And see, the brain, the brain, the mind, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. doesn't like change. Doesn't like change. No, the ego, it's whatever you want to call it, it doesn't like change. And what happens is it'll go into homeostasis. Mm -hmm. homeostasis. Explain what, that. What is homeostasis? Homeostasis is a state where we feel comfortable. We are in our comfort zone. We don't want to move from our comfort zone. It's safe. Mm -hmm. it's, it's We know what it feels like. It's cozy. We don't have to fear the unknown because we already know what's going to happen and how it's going to happen, how it's going to feel. So it'll automatically go into that state. Mm -hmm. So what do we like to do? Feel comfy, don't we? So we, the brain will go into homeostasis. But who's in, who's in control? That's what you got to remember. We are. Yes. So we tell it what to do. We program it and it feels comfortable. We have to feel that discomfort. It's not going to kill mm -hmm. us. And we that's how we, we can break through this. This is how we can yeah. break through silence in our mind because we don't like to be silent. We don't like to be on our own. We don't like actually silence. <laughs> it's very frightening, very frightening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I said a whole lot there, so I'm sure you got it. You did. <laughs> it's like, <"Whoa!"> you did. <laughs> yes. You, you, just, you just, you know, just open up your barrel and just, yes, that was good. Um, so I'm going to quote, um, uh, it, it's one of my favorite quotes. Um, he's, and I don't know how to pronounce his first name. It's B-L-A-I-S-E. Um blaze or maybe it's blaze i don't know but <laughs> um uh, blaze pascal that's his last name his last yeah, name is that, pascal that is, sounds french yes he is french uh -huh. yes um this is a quote uh, please forgive the long letter i didn't have time to write a short one 
So it takes time. It takes thought to write a very short letter. Oh my God, that's so, just goosebumps all over. Oh my God, that is profound. <laughs> that is my favorite quote because you have to still your mind in order to write something that is precise, concise, and impactful. So Rep that's why. That again. Drop the mic. Repeat <laughs> that again. Amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to still the mind in order to be precise, concise, and impactful. Mm -hmm. So as an investigator, I'm trained to write short sentences because then if my report, if I'm going to write a report, let's say there's, uh, there, of course, there's the complainant, then you have Let's say this complainant is alleging three of his supervisors that are, you know, whatever he's complaining about. Then I have to interview this person's supervisor. So that makes five already. Then he has to, then I have to, once they start, once I start interviewing them, they'll start naming names. So then now I have to interview the, the, HR, the whoever, two witnesses at least, two witnesses. So now I'm already interviewing nine people. Can you imagine how long that report would be? Mm. <laughs> Huge. We, I have to, uh, their testimony is long, but my summary is very short. Maybe, um, Max five sentences. <laughs> yes, max. So you have to steal the mind. You have to look at what it is because there's so much noise. Like what you said, there's so much noise. There's mom's voice. There's dad's voice. There's sister, best friend, you know, boss, you know, whoever, you know, the book that you're reading, their voice, and all of these other voices are coming in. Then you have to still all of that and just get it down to one. That is so hard. But like what you said, it's not impossible. It is not impossible. So when you don't know what to do, don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything when you don't know when you don't know what to do. Don't do anything. And that's part of calming the mind. That's a part of, uh, you know, kind of stealing away. You know, when um, when you're painting, you're not really thinking about anything, right? You're just painting. And then all of a sudden the thought comes. Or when you're in the shower. Shower always gets you, don't it? Mm. <laughs> you always have these thoughts that come in. What? I can't write it. I'm in the shower. <laughs> so but because you are with yourself, you're within yourself, you're having this water and that's all you're thinking about is the water hitting you. Then all of a sudden, here are the thoughts. Those are organic thoughts. Those are the organic thoughts that comes from within to give you the answer. Another way is to take a nap. Because our subconscious then takes over. And then the subconscious will say, hey, this is our answer. We've had it for a long time. So you, it comes in the form of a dream. But... It, all of those state are the same. Meditation. You know, you're you're by yourself, you're breathing, you're listening to yourself, and you're going away. So all of these are yourself. You're stealing, you're stealing away and you're stealing the mind. So that's what you do when you don't know what to do. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And imagine if you had a little bit of help. A little bit little bit of help with stilling the mind. Yes. And then through 
hypnosis. Hypnosis. Yes. Yes. Where you know you you know what you want, but it's it's that trouble of getting it or taking action or knowing what to do, how to get to mm -hmm. that other side, right? So this is where hypnosis is just magnificent. It's just yes. like it's like fireworks going off in your subconscious mind. That's yeah. how I explain it. And um oh my god, that's just magic. It's just happening. This this is exactly what I've desired. Yeah, yeah. So like what you, you were saying earlier, you know, um, you're envisioning yourself and you're you seeing yourself in this area and you're smelling the, you know, the uh, the moisture in the air and you're feeling the wind in your skin. And these are all sensations that the body can actually do with just a thought. I know some of you are like, no way, this way. Yes. Yeah. If I tell you to imagine a lemon mm. and you take a bite, you're already water. <laughs> Your saliva glands are already working because the mind already knows. It knows what to do. Um, you know, with, with the goosebumps, you're like, oh my gosh, nothing happened. You just heard a word. That's all you did. Goosebumps. So when you put yourself in these kind of states, oops, sorry. Did you hear that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I thought that my, uh, my, let me turn that off. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, when you put yourself in that state, because what is it when you don't know what to do? What's happening when you don't know what to do? So what's happening is that you're in a state of, there's so many noise, there's too much noise first. And you heard this advice because you, like what you said earlier as well, you know, people want, uh, they have advice for what they feel like you need to do. Right, Stefania, this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it's easy for you to say. So they have these suggestions and so you're hearing this and what it is is that you're hearing somebody else's voice and you're having all of these other things and you don't agree with it. But why don't you agree with it? There's something inside that is telling you, no, that's why you're in that state. I just don't know what to do. Yes, right. you do. You just need to quiet everything else, push everybody's voices aside and listen to your own voice. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Well, we got there quick. I know. That's it. Show's over. Thank you very that's much. That's it. We're done. Thank you. Fun <laughs> 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 Fresh Fridays. Bye for now. <laughs> we send you love and we send you passion. <laughs> No, I think because I just blurted it all out in the beginning because I, I mean, I think that it was just so real with what was happening just prior mm -hmm. to coming on to the show. Yeah. And um, and not that I really thought about the title that much. I think that, that was all coming up. But, yeah, just to, you know, talk about that a bit longer, we, we can do it. We, we definitely have to realise I guess, what is it we desire? What is it that we want? <laughs> what is it that we, what's the outcome we're looking for? Mm -hmm. And and really know that we are just, we are spirit. There's something inside us that lives within us. I don't know whatever you want to call it, energy, <laughs> source, you know, many people have different God, many people have different names for it. Mm -hmm. And what what do we do when we're not in this body? Mm. You know, like it just we don't just disappear. The body, the body dies, you know, but mm -hmm. the spirit is still going. What is spirit? What is in it? That's the source, that's a life force that is living within us. And that's why there's this tug of war, I believe, within us because we're 
we're spirit, but we're having the physical experience and we're surrounded mm -hmm. by just so much materialism mm -hmm. that there's nothing wrong with that, but we can enjoy it. We can look at it as, wow, I get to go, like imagine going to a, a theme park like Disney World, mm -hmm. or that, right? So you're in this park now and you get to go on all these rides. You get mm -hmm. to do all these different activities. Well, if you can imagine this world being exactly like that, you come into this world. The world is a theme park, right? And you mm -hmm. get to do everything you want to do mm -hmm. because you're in it. You're physically right. in it. Yeah. It's, it's just amazing. When we, when we go deep like that and you think of it like that, it's just so <laughs> much. We get all tongue-tied, our bodies go into total, you know, contortion into pain, muscle disease. <laughs> like we're mm -hmm. just totally destroying ourselves because of the all that negative stuff that we can't do. But really right. we're born to, to thrive. We're born to enjoy yeah. everything on this yeah. planet. Everything yeah. on this planet. Yeah. And here's another mind-boggling fact since you want to talk about spirit or energy. Yes, let's. <laughs> Everything that you see, even us, are only made up of two. Two. One is, we spoke about it, we talked about spirit or energy, and the other one is matter. Correct. That's it. So, you know, there's a saying, um, what, what I don't mind won't matter. And what matters, you know, if I don't, if I don't mind what matters, what matters, I don't mind or something like that. I, right. I, I think I messed that up, but anyway, <laughs> but I get it. I'm sure you get it Yeah, you'll get it. You, somebody will type it in. No, it's this. Okay, fine. Sure. <laughs> Um, so those are the two things we're, so it's so amazing that those two things can make up something so complex as we are very complex, but yet so simple as this top of the pen. Mm. So like what you said, you know, it's a playground. It's a, it's an amusement park. You can do whatever you want. You can, you know, ride the, the most thrilling roller coaster and be brave about it. Are you shaking a little bit because you see, you know, whoa. but you did it. And then when you come down, you're like, oh, my God, that was so scary. But I just loved it. So you have these mixed emotions. And it's the same thing, you know, with everything that we make a decision on or what we don't make a decision on or the things that um, you mentioned desire, the things that we desire. It's really born in with us. We are born with it. We are born with whatever genius that God, you know, whatever you whatever you call him, but I'm going to call him God. That's yeah. me. Um, whatever God gave you the gift that God gave you it's born it, it it came with you so that desire or that you know that uh, I don't know I just don't know what to do is because the other voices are not in sync with the gift that's within you the gift that is wanting to come out that is wanting to just burst out and you can't seem like that you're going anywhere you're seen stuck is because you haven't gotten to the point of what really is your desire? What really is your, you know, your, your genius? Where do you flow? Where do you just, you know, really shine? So when you started speaking about you were flowing, Stefania, you <laughs> were just, I mean, you were just, I was like, okay, I guess she's like, all right, all right. <laughs> Just let it go. I'm, I'm, and then I thought, oh, my God, I'm taking over. I'm not letting this. No, I felt because, like no, it's because of this. 
because that's where your genius lies. And let me just kind of wrap it up in a pretty bow. You know, um, you, you, you gave the package, but now I'm going to wrap it up with a pretty bow so that you can see the gift that is really within you. You spoke about how do you steal your mind and you were just giving all of these examples. You know, go to a cave. I was thinking beach, but you said only you know where it is and only you know that spot. I was like, yeah. Because a beach, everybody's looking for a beach, but nobody's looking for a cave. Except for those that want to hunt or, um, you know, treasure uh, treasure hunters. Um, so you're giving this example and you're telling them what to do and you're, and you're flourishing is because you are a bona fide certified hypnotherapist. You know how to take people there. That's why you flourished. That's why you just, everything just came out. <laughs> you, do, you do word vomits. You know, like, <laughs> and let me add another thing. <laughs> let me just, yes. And that's when you know that is your genius. When nobody can shut you up. Oh, no. I, oh, let me tell you about this. That's when you know, that's when you know the subconscious and the conscious has now been married up mm -hmm. your spirit and your flesh and your mind and your soul has become one and you are on track. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen to that. No, it's true. Yeah. It's true. And it's, it's euphoric. It's so blissful. It's in that, that mm -hmm. state you, you're, you're soaring like an eagle um, and yeah. it's possible it is possible but you I think what we must realize too we don't just get there like that we need to take action right. we need to you know make the moves make the decision first to take action because everybody mm -hmm. wants everybody desires everyone has a dream mm -hmm. but what are we doing what steps are we taking and right. what baby steps, remember, it doesn't have to happen overnight. It can no. happen gradually, but the first step will lead to the next step, which will lead to the next step. And, you know, we have, depending on how old you are, <laughs> we have a lot of years of stuff mm -hmm. that's not ours that we, you know, have to release. And if we can release that to make way for the, the beautiful things and, you know, every day you're just going to get better and better. You're just going to be in awe of what is transpiring, you know, what, what you're morphing into. Because mm -hmm. yeah, if you can think of it, you know, where these caterpillars in these cocoons mm -hmm. and then we will morph into a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. We all can do it. We all can do and, it. Yeah, and just your analogy of the caterpillar and then, you know, the chrysalis or the cocoon or, you know, or, um, and then to a butterfly. Just look at that. You, you know, the caterpillar is on the ground seeming like it's insignificant. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> But then there comes a time where it's innate, it's inborn in them to go on this branch and start vomiting because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's their vomit that creates this cocoon mm -hmm. so that they can transform and that chrysalis or that cocoon does not look like the caterpillar and it's no longer on the ground. It is now a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. So, and then after that, it gets to the point to where it's, uh, the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly and all of that vomit, all of that word that's within the caterpillar is what's being transformed into a butterfly where you can soar. So 
the answer lies within you. Yes. It always goes back to within, right? Yes. It Everything. always goes back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. I think everything, everything and anything, like even yesterday, you know, anyone who watched my my show yesterday, my segment on trust issues, the trust issues affecting your relationships, you know, well, mm. how do we get over them? Well, we need to go within. <laughs> we need to do the work within. Um, and because we all have experienced trust issues. I don't care who oh, it is. Yeah. You know, right. anyone that says, oh, I don't have a problem with trust is really lying. I don't care what you say. You can debate me on that. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> um, if, if they don't have an issue with trust, I call you an infant. Yes, <laughs> exactly. As an adult, we, As... we develop all this. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we, we just need to go back silence go back within and silence the spirit silence the mind silence the mind to connect to spirit to connect to you know what it is that we really do have inside us so there's no such thing as i don't know right so really that comes mm -hmm. down you know when anyone says i don't know no you do know or yes. i can't no I can't equals I won't. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, are we looking for excuses or are we looking for opportunities? Right, right. And if you say you can, you are one hundred percent correct. That's right. You are setting yourself. <laughs> up you are one hundred percent correct. Mm. You know, um, and it, and if you say I don't know, you are one hundred percent correct. So. Um, here, here's a, here's a question for you, um, or maybe not a question. How would you finish this phrase or this statement? Knowledge is. Oh. Knowledge. Well, I've heard the say the say knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. That's but, a common knowledge. That's yeah, common power. knowledge. Okay, go ahead. But, but I would say knowledge with action is powerful. Mm. So okay. let me let me shorten that up because that's I, I that's my my uh, my lane. Okay. Yes, <laughs> that's, cool. that's my lane. I will shorten that up. That's right. Knowledge is potential mm. power. Potential power. Yes. It's potential. Right. So knowledge is not power. It mm -hmm. isn't. It's potential power mm -hmm. because knowledge without action is nothing. Exactly. It's just mm -hmm. knowledge. There's no power in it. When, when we talk about power, that means it's doing something. It's, you know, wow, look at that horse. That's, that's why cars are are now called um you know oh this has 240 horse yeah. wow. power because mm -hmm. back in the day this is history lesson <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have cars just in case no, nobody knew that i'm sorry millennials <laughs> we did not have cars <laughs> had horses so it depends on how many horse that could carry the load. So depending on the horse, how many horses, and that's what it was. You know, this is a 250. Can you imagine 250 horses? That is just. Wow. That's power. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about power, when we talk about knowledge, knowledge is potential power. Mm -hmm. So you can put power, you can really add the power if there's action, if there is movement, you know, um, what's good, what, what good is a car that has a 250 horsepower when it's not moving? Exactly. It has it's called power. potential. <laughs> it's 
what we've been doing. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, uh, so yeah. So yeah. That's um, so we, when we can change the way we think and what has been given to us, we can, you know, uh, there's a reason why sometimes in us when we hear something, we're like, oh, really? You should listen to that. <laughs> Take it in. Uh, because there's something inside of you that's trying to say, oh, no, 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 it's it's this, it's this, it's this, you know, to help you overcome whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because I used to say before, knowledge is power. What could you know? Knowledge is power. Get all that knowledge. <laughs> Get all that knowledge. Yeah. But now, um, you know, it's my view of it has changed because what is what is um what is my master's degree doing for me right now <laughs> not a thing <laughs> not a thing it's hanging up on your not wall a thing. It, it's just a piece of paper that says you know on this date on uh, you know my name Am I using it for my 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 own business? I can say that now. Oh my god, <laughs> my own business. You, you know, I'm I'm now a business owner. For real, for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Am I using that? No. I'm using the knowledge that I gained and that I used, that I applied, that I can now speak so, you know, I can go on and on and on and on about discrimination, you know, um, diversity and inclusion, the LGBTQ plus, because there's additional letters that you guys don't know. So we just made it simple for you guys and say plus. But I know the rest of the letters and I know what they mean. Right. Um, so but so that that, you know, that knowledge inside of me and that that just my passion and um, in discrimination, you know, with the disability community that mm -hmm. oh, I can talk for days. <laughs> <laughs> There's your passion. Yeah. There's so passion. but that's the knowledge that I applied and I, you know, put in that degree that knowledge all that eight years of knowledge <laughs> not being used so yeah i mean i know what one plus one is that helped me out <laughs> i'm just making kind of a light joke about um education but if you have a degree and you're not using it, then what is that? It's all that knowledge that is potential power. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Potential power. Wow. Well, this yeah. has been very interesting, hasn't it? We have yeah. dived deep really quickly. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's the intent. That was my intent. No. <laughs> Because we want answers right away, as you know, we that and that's the. Uh, I think that's the the gist of what people want now. They don't want the fluff. No. They don't want. Um, they don't want the. Um, uh, you know the. Selling me all of this. Um, all of these words. You know that that are. Um, <laughs> you know, full of, you know, <laughs> that stink stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, full of it. And, and they're just saying the same thing. You know, they're giving you um, uh, a, a lot of these buzzwords, these motivational words, you know, to, to make you think that oh yeah 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 but no you just quiet yourself 
meditate. The answer is within you. That Those are the simple, really straight to the point answer. Mm. And I think to um, let this be part of your daily rituals. You know, everyone has daily rituals. We get up, go to the bathroom, brush our teeth, have a shower. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. We, um, you know, have breakfast. We drink so much water per day. We have three meals a day. We brush our teeth at night. <laughs> Maybe floss. Hopefully. Those that are really keen. Um, and by the way, flossing every day is very, very important to just before we go then. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, they're, they're routines. Mm -hmm. You know, we're eating, they're survival skills, they're survival things we need mm -hmm. to do to survive physically. But we also need to embrace and engage in the spiritual, you know, uh, activities that we need to feel our spirit, to feel our soul, to feel our, you know, our subconscious, to mm -hmm. make those changes. And it's going to be hard. Let me tell you, you will stomp your feet, put the brakes on like a horse, you know, that the cartoon, I don't know what cartoon <laughs> that is, but he's, like, he doesn't want to go and he's up in his hind legs and he's like got his brakes on. That's, that's how you feel. We've all been there, all done that. But allow yourselves to come down. Allow mm -hmm. yourself to come down and feel that earth underneath your feet and to be grounded and to really feel that, that soul full of that spiritual nourishment that you, we, can do. Yeah. yeah. You just need to take the time and practice those routines, practice those rituals, implement them part of your life like you do, going to the gym, swimming, walking, eating, brushing your teeth, shaving, you know, mm -hmm. the men that shave their faces and do their beards, mm -hmm. ladies, our legs and underarms, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Um, I had to put that in because you said before, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's another topic where women don't shave their underarms. But, I mean, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with not shaving your underarms. Don't get me wrong. No. There's nothing wrong. But, I don't know. Just, just make sure, you know. You have sleeves up to here. <laughs> put a lot of stuff that doesn't make it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, there was um, this going off track, but in Italy, <laughs> it was like, oh my god! I know. <laughs> the women over there, like they were just real feminists. I don't know what that was all on about. There's, I'm sure, there's some kind of code or some kind of movement going on. But the women were just, yeah, lifting their arms up, and there was this like. I was like, oh, is this really happening? And, you know, beautiful women dress mm -hmm. nicely, designer clothes, and then just, yeah, seeing all this fluff under their arms. Bush. You know, bush. Bushy fluff. So, anyway, I just, I would you know, um, I, I think it's their culture. Yeah. It's, it's their culture. Uh, yeah. It's their culture. Yeah. But it's, not all. They're, they're not known all. for that. Yeah. But there's nothing no. wrong with it. Yeah. No, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. It's just, um, just it's hard to because we're not used to it. That's the mind. You see, the mind is like mm -hmm. it's been programmed to a certain way. Yeah. So, mm, oh, good, good, good. Well, we are nearly on one hour speaking. Yeah. Today. That's gone fast for now. Super fast. Yes. <laughs> yeah we put it out there um you know because that's that's what that that's what we um you know want to be able to do just give the answer 
you know, not to, um, not procrastinate or have them, you know, uh, if they get the answer within five, 10 minutes, bravo, you know, sign off, <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> yeah. Once you get your answer, sign off, you know, it's okay. Um, because that's what we're here to do is we're, we're here to serve. We're here to help here to give, um, our little tidbits, our little experiences so that, uh, you know, your way might not be, you know, um, what someone would do or my way might be not what someone would do, but they would tweak it a little bit. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. Um, what has helped me a lot, uh, is, is the journaling. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, just, um, there's nothing that I'm thinking about writing. I'm just, you know, thinking, uh, writing what happened yesterday as to what I want to happen today, you know? So um, I'm writing about, you know, what are my thoughts? How was I feeling? And, you know, and then it just flows. It just, you know, it helps me um, get rid of a lot of that, and that's just me, you know, it helps me get rid of a lot of that um, questions or disappointments from yesterday and uh, things that I didn't accomplish. Um, and then I find myself giving myself permission. It's okay, but I'm writing today, you know, so I'm going to, you know, so then it's very, um, it, you know, it's like, it's like my... <laughs> it's like my, my conscious and then my subconscious comes in and then my conscious comes in and my subconscious comes in. And then finally it just marries up. And at the very end, you know, we'll do this again tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you same yeah. time, same place. <laughs> yes. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I think so. And when is it a good time to journal? Anytime. Exactly. Let's just make yeah. that clear because some people like the morning, some people like the evening, some people like the middle of the day. It's not important. It's what's right for you. And, you know, sometimes yeah. we may be used to doing it early hours in the morning. Switch it up. Do it in the middle of the day. Do it at, you know, in the afternoon. <clears throat> Take five minutes to just breathe and, you know, be still. Mm -hmm. day, even in in amongst yeah. everything that's going on. And I know it must be hard, particularly for those that are still working in offices or working for companies um, and they're in their little cubicle office or they're not in their cubicle, they're at the desk with you know, hundreds of others at their desk. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, that, that can be a little challenging because of all the energies that are around you. But remember, you can take yourself to that special place whether it's that cave whether it's that forest whether it's the beach um, you can take yourself right there in five minutes flat because you mm -hmm. have you know you're being able to practice it practice it practice it close your eyes and just breathe and then all that noise that's happening around you in that office environment no one's there you, you're gone mm -hmm. you are yeah. gone yeah. And always, because uh, uh, I did this when I was w working physically in an office, I would go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That's where I would <sighs> sit know? on the golden throne. <laughs> on the golden throne, the queen that I am. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I that's what I do. That's my escape. It is going to the bathroom, you know. Um, uh, and and by the way, I don't just go to any bathroom. Oh no! I go to the furthest bathroom, or to the bathroom that is that nobody wants to go to because it's oh, it's upstairs. It's uh, let me just go around. No, I go because it's quiet. Nobody likes to go up there, uh, and, and it's you know. So or I'll go for a walk outside Love yeah that. yeah that's what i do when i was physically um but now that i am working from home 
Um, and I'm just so excited about my <laughs> Um, yeah, um, what I do is I get up and I go outside and walk or I'll meditate or I'll journal. I'm like, oh, let me just, you know, cause when I'm getting to a point of frustration, okay, let me just, um, uh, go out, walk for a little bit, you know, meditate, or I'll just start journaling and start writing, you know. Hmm, what should I write today? Hmm, let me see. Oh, what do I want to be? What would I do if I had a million dollars? I just think of a stuff, you know, just to get my mind off of the frustration. Yes. And then, yeah. And then the answer comes. Absolutely. So amazingly. It does. It does. So I hope you've all enjoyed our segment today. And Yes had you know got the takeaways taken some of those gems that we have shared and if you want to know more about that or how to step into that how to use it how to actually get there you know feel free to reach out to us because that's what we're yeah. here we're here to help support and serve so right. if you were you know we all need each other. We're all we're all one. We're all connected. So feel free to uh, reach out, and we would, you know, only be too happy to share and, and talk about it more. Maybe we can, um, yeah, do a segment on it. Some action action stuff. Maybe we can action some of the stuff. You know, which one you know what? Us. You know what, Stefania? I know what we you're gonna say. Do that. <laughs> We gonna do that next Friday. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. We are gonna have a segment as to how. Some ways, you know, some might, some of you might not like it, but it's not not, not everything is for everyone, right? Correct. Um, so, but you might so, like it. Um, yeah, but you might like give it. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Right. So next Friday, we will give you some pointers and some actionable steps. Ain't that right, Stefania? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we look for, it. We look for it. So it'll be fun because it'll be just after the workshop as well. So it'll be just yeah. flowing. So don't forget, come and join the uh, workshop. Yes, the book the writing dinner. intensive writing intensive mm -hmm. and even if you have to write about what you don't know what you don't know what to do that is a great way to start you know that i think that'll yes. make a great title i mean because hey that would be a number one i think what to do when you don't know what to do well yeah what, what do you do so right. <laughs> get all that out vomit it out like a caterpillar <laughs> yes to turn into that yes. butterfly, to soar. To turn into that butterfly. Mm -hmm. Right. And also come and join us on the conscious, the relationship, the conscious relationship retreat. Uh, we're going to put the, the links down below after this show, aren't we, Zanetta? Yes. And, uh, yeah. Any other takeaways or any other, you know, highlights you want to leave our lovely audience with today, Zanetta? Hmm. When you don't know what to do, tune into Fun Fresh Friday. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you. And um, I would like to say something, but you actually sure. gave the quote earlier. So I would like you to say it for me, if that's okay, from that Blase Pascal. Can you bring yes. that? Because I think that was just amazing. And I think that's I'm a sure great way to, to, to end the, the segment to, you know, fill our spirits with. Yes. Okay. Um, it's please forgive the long letter. I didn't have time to write a short one. Powerful, powerful, powerful. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. So know that we've got it all within ourselves. It's all within us. Just 
tap into it. Yes. Allow it yourself. Give yourself permission to do that. And watch and as you marvel into the magic of life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So even with that quote, that's what we're going to be using for their book writing intensive. Mm -hmm. So just a little glimpse, mm -hmm. just a little right. glimpse. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So you want to close it off, Sonetta? Oh, or sure. <laughs> As always, we are here every Friday, unless something happens, we will let you know. But we are here every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and all that other time zones. But Australia, 12.30 on Saturdays, not Fridays, yeah. but Saturdays yeah. um, at 12.30 p.m. And until next time, we yes. send you love. And we send you passion. Passion. <laughs> Bye, Bye for, for now. now.